Hello there, my beautiful Capricorn friends. How are you? Welcome back to Sacred Knowledge Tarot. I am so happy and thankful to each and every one of you for being here with me today. So thank you, everyone. And those of you that are brand new to my channel, hello and welcome, my friends. My name is Rhea, and I do these readings every week. Now, Capricorn, I'm going to pull three cards out of my tarot deck to see what message Spirit has for you. Then I'm going to pull a bonus card from the Spirit Animals oracle deck and an angel number for you as well so those of you that are watching today if you've been seeing any kind of animals or insects any kind of repeating numbers or angel numbers this is going to give you your confirmation and guidance today so stay tuned for all of this my beautiful friends all right capricorn let's pull some cards here and see what spirit guides would like you to know for the month of january can't believe it's january already Oh my goodness, well, I mean, it's going to be January next week, but still, how fast the year has gone, my goodness. All right, Capricorn, you are now receiving the Nine of Wands to start. So this January, it's all about you protecting your energy. This is going to be very important as you enter this new year, understanding where you're going to allot your energy. Okay, again, discipline is going to be very important here. So uh, nine of wands to start here. We've got the ace of cups coming in. So there's a brand new beginning, something that is really going to uh, touch you on a deep level here. This is where your cup is overflowing with joy and excitement. That's your heart Capricorn. This is opening up a new beginning for you and it's gonna be a very exciting beginning. So get ready for this. Now, what I also want you to do here is to use your own intuition with my reading. So whenever you see my cards popping up on screen, I want you to try and interpret them using your own intuition. Not only will this strengthen your intuition, but you will also receive your own messages. So Ace of Cups and the Magician card. So I love this card. Anytime I pull it, it actually gets me really excited because it lets me know that you, my friends, are a creator. It's a reminder that we all in this world are creators and it's time for you to create here, Capricorn. Create the life that you desire using your own powers. You have all the tools, you have the knowledge, and if you feel that you don't, it's time to take in that knowledge. This is a major arcana card. This energy is prominent. It's in the back background. Some of you are feeling this intensely, others you're feeling this subtly. So the magician card here, Capricorn. Oh my goodness. So this is such a beautiful spread for you, by the way. So before I actually start, I wanted to remind everyone that we all live a different life experience. These cards are going to present themselves differently in each of our lives. This is also a general reading and may not resonate for everyone today. So those of you that are watching, if my reading isn't resonating for you, please leave it behind. So I just feel that there's so much that you're going to do this year. Like there's so many different things that so many of you are going to accomplish this year. And it's clearly showing up in these cards and it's you that's actually doing it Capricorn I feel you have this will this desire like there's been this flame lit inside of you it, it's kind of the uh, winter solstice energy you know where uh, we bring a lot of that light into our darkness and you really have lit that flame within you and I, I feel that you have a lot of energy right now like you're ready to go you're ready to accomplish anything and you're going to see that in your work this year in everything that you do there's a major shift that has happened here for you or is happening already if you're not already feeling it but this is you kind of managing your own energy you understanding okay this year I'm actually going to protect my energy and make sure that I am putting it or you know uh kind of divvying up my energy in the areas of my life that I want to see growth in so that's all of that care that's that hard work that's that time that passion that is going into the areas of your life that you actually want to see growth in 
and you're going to see a lot of growth this year. I'm telling you Capricorn, this is going to be a very powerful year for you. So I want you to understand that and I want you to actually take this energy in that's being given to you to actually create what it is that you want. This is a brand new beginning for you. This is something that some of you have not experienced before and I feel this coming year world world related there's going to be a lot of different things going on which is going to try to take our energy this is why you have to guard yourself especially the energy that you put out into the world because wherever that energy goes that's where that creation flows right and this is what you're doing right now is you're creating you have the power to do that this is being amplified this year for you. We're in the year uh, number eight in numerology. It's a very, it's a power number. It's all about action. It's also about discipline. This is a disciplinary card here for you. So discipline is going to be very important. So those of you that are watching today, I want you to have a plan, like a game plan for 2024. You can start that now and really stick to it. Use discipline. Those of you that are wanting to lose weight, it's now time to have an action plan for that. What are you going to do to reach that goal for yourself by the end of this year or whatever that goal is, right? Six months, three months, whatever it is for you. Um, and I want you to have continuous goals. And you know what it is? Um, and I've been having a lot of difficulty with this as my energy here is how to allot it and how to protect it. And sometimes I go through these lazy spells. I get the case of the lazy. Um, and even like this morning, I woke up late and it's only because it's so cold outside. I'm warm and cuddly and taking that blanket off. Like I have nothing other than to, to film, which is very important, but I can do a better job if I just wake up early. So I'm really making a point. And that's the part that sometimes we have to actually get over is that getting adjusted to that new routine if you can just use that willpower that discipline stick to the plan you're going to see how easy things become as you move forward so even if you're feeling those emotions of not doing the thing that um, you had planned to do just fight the emotions and do it anyways okay unless your body needs to rest you need to know the difference of self-care and you know the case of the lazies if that's what you want to call it that's what i call it so I just feel knowing where you're going to put your energy, how you're going to protect yourself from emotions or just thoughts or things that are kind of whirling around in your mind that are trying to stop you from sticking to this goal, okay? This is, again, very, very important for you, Capricorn, because I feel you guys, all of you, are going to do a lot this year if you just protect your energy, distractions, things that uh, really challenge us, right? Don't allow, this is also another card where um, challenges, don't be afraid to face challenges because challenges make you stronger. They almost level you up. So if you actually just think of it that way, that's what I think of it as, right? Is, oh, I've got a challenge here. So if I overcame it, then I just, built a point on my like as if I'm playing a video game or something I'm getting points right so I just think of it like that just to make it easier so think of it however you like but I feel that don't work don't be afraid of challenges instead face them head on crush through them because you have the energy to do that this year I also feel now the number nine in numerology here everyone has is tied to first off the humanitarian number but it's also about fulfillment it's about attainment it's about fruition and you're manifesting right now you are a high uh, high functioning manifesting generator okay you have the power, you know how to alchemize things, you are the magician, you are the scientist, you have all the ingredients, you know what it is that you have to do, you just have to apply that and stick to the plan. This is all it is and experiment along the way, right? Because not everything is perfect and the only way to make it perfect is by going through it over and over until it's perfect for you, right? So look at this, this is, I, I really feel that January is going to be this absolutely beautiful space for you to create like it's a blank canvas Capricorn and I just feel that some of you are feeling the energy of this passion this this fire being lit within you this light that has now uh, come through for you like we've been going through this um you know shorter days longer nights 
Um, and I don't know, I feel some of you have called the light in. And now this light is burning and it's getting bigger and bigger for you. And it's really opening up this new emotion within you, um, this new passion, this new desire, like you're just fired up and, and ready to go. I feel there's going to be a lot of different things that are going to happen for you this coming year. And it's going to start for you in January, Capricorn, where you're starting to build, you're starting to grow, you're starting to see these things actually um, kind of mold into your life. Um, connections are coming through as well. So there's something that you're going to embark on here, whether this is a passion project, whether this is yourself, you're looking at your mind, body, and soul, your physical body, maybe eating healthier, taking care of your, yourself as well. It's part of my goals this year is to focus on my health, working out. I'm actually going to join a kickboxing, a kickboxing class this year. So by this time next year, I'm going to be able to kick somebody's butt. Not that I want to, but I'm just saying that I really want to be able to uh, defend myself if ever I need to. But And it gives you discipline as well, right? So no matter how bad it feels, I'm going to go and do this thing, right? Some of you are embarking on something new. This could be a new job. This could be a new career. This could be some of you embarking on YouTube, creating your YouTube channel or taking it seriously or really focusing on this one thing. And I feel it's important that you focus on one thing. There's only one cup here. So put that energy into that one thing that you really want to see growth in this year, Capricorn, whether it's your job, yourself, right? You can create and manage your day according to what it is that you're trying to do, but allotting time and, and having the time to actually focus on the things that actually bring you happiness and joy this year. And you're going to see so many different things happening for the better for you. I also feel that um, you're going to make some connections here. I'm seeing some incoming people for some of you, new connections. These are with people that are more in alignment with you, Capricorn. And as you are shifting your own life by taking the necessary actions, instigating, making sure that you're staying on track, you can even get accountability uh, buddies as well to kind of push you if you're feeling like you're not motivated. You can have somebody that kind of makes you do it, right? But I feel that you are in alignment with a soul tribe. These could be people that can help you in your business. These could be friendships. These are going to be deep bonds, okay, with people that are, that you understand and they understand you, okay? And I just feel that, oh my gosh, January is going to be a really good month for you, Capricorn. So I want you to believe that. Um, if you're able to practice positive affirmations, gratitude is going to be huge. If you're able to actually implement, you know, positive affirmations throughout your day and have a gratitude journal. I always find that if you're able to practice gratitude every single day, it doesn't matter. Things are going to work out no matter what. I just fully wholeheartedly believe that. So practice gratitude here everyone for everything that you currently have in your life it's you know it doesn't matter where you are in your life what experience you're feeling what whatever experience you're going through there's something to be grateful for okay so I just feel that this is going to be very important um, and again sorry I'm coming back to this because this jumped out at me again because I forgot to mention something here is external news. I mentioned it a little bit. Be careful of what you're watching online here. Protect your energy from all the chaos that the online world brings to our life. Protect your mind here most importantly, right? Those positive affirmations are really going to help and it's time for you to create. And this is going to be very serious for you because you are the magician. You are the creator. You are someone, <clears throat> you are someone that is able to create anything you want Capricorn. I, I feel that some of you don't actually believe this and you need to understand that you're very powerful. You have the magician card today. So if you are watching, you are a magician here. And if you're able to implement the right things in your life, stick to them, use discipline, you're going to see how your magic works in the world. Very powerful card here. And this is letting me know that there is a very powerful change coming in that you are making yourself in your life through your powers, your belief, 
in yourself and the universe, knowing that, okay, maybe you didn't have a great life before. Maybe you've gone through some challenges. Maybe you've gone through some hardships. Maybe you're still going through that, but you can turn that around because you have the power to do so. So, um, you know, sometimes what happens, it's kind of like, okay, well, what do I do to do that? Well, why not start with gratitude? Let's be grateful for where we are in life right now, right? If you have a roof over your head, be thankful for that. You're alive today, be thankful for that, right? It's, it's the little, little things in our lives. They might not seem big, but they're still little enough to be grateful for, right? Um, and I'm going to mention this in, in all the signs readings because I feel this year for everyone it's an opportunity, it's an abundant year. And we have to be in that mindset of abundance, of positivity. And it's not toxic positivity, right? Because when we are faced with a challenge, we feel the emotions of it, but we don't back down and we don't fear them. We instead, okay, well, we're gonna go through this, right? And life is to be experienced. You're meant to experience the emotions, the feelings, everything. And it's learning how to flow with the energy that comes towards you and being grateful that, okay, this came through because I'm meant to actually grow and learn from this experience because whatever is coming up in my life next after this, I'm going to need this strength for that. So it's always this upward um, ascension that is happening. And I feel it's now time for you to grab the ingredients for that recipe for your life, whatever that is. So for example, myself, I'm, you know, meditating in the morning, go to the gym, do some yoga, have a nightly ritual as well, right? So my morning ritual is a part of it is me getting ready in the morning, straightening my hair. I have curly hair. It takes a while to straighten and putting my makeup on and getting dressed, getting the lighting, all of this done. That's a part of my morning ritual and I love doing it. And I take my time with it because it's a ritual for me. It's sacred, right? So I allot that time. I, I get up a little bit earlier, spend at least a good hour setting everything up myself. And then I, I'm in that, in that zone, in that flow where I'm able to bring you these readings, right? So, and it's not easy every day to do that but I kind of create this ritual that I get into that flow sometimes I need to add music to my day soothing music or bumping music whatever I'm feeling that day so create some sort of rituals for yourself where you stick to them every day to kind of get yourself into the flow of the day sometimes things don't work out for me sometimes I, I do readings and all these things happen where my camera shuts down or as I'm reading something happens and I have to keep refilming whatever happens, it's kind of like, okay, you know what? I prepared for this. I'm in this beautiful flow state. I'm not going to let allow things to get, get to me. And that's usually kind of how it works. And I always get my stuff done. And sometimes it's a challenge getting it done, but I always get it done because I'm in that flow. I'm like, okay, I know. And we're uh, going through Mercury retrograde here as well. So just be mindful that Mercury retrograde is at play. Things get delayed. There's miscommunication, digital things. All of that is affected. So don't allow those energies to affect your energy. No, it's just in the air. It's not you. It's not somebody else. It's just the energy in the air. Mercury retrograde will be done by about January the 2nd. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pull a bonus card for you, Capricorn, from the Spirit Animal Oracle deck. All right. So... Anything that I have missed in this part of the reading, this card's going to get. And also those of you that have seen any kind of animals or insects, you're going to receive your confirmation today. I'm going to read you the interpretation from the guidebook. All right, we are getting Armadillo Spirit. Sell, set healthy boundaries. Look at that. Tying in really well with the Nine of Swords. Sorry, Nine of Wands. All right, so Armadillo Spirit. Set healthy boundaries. We've got the number three coming up here. So... Perhaps the number three is important to some of you or a number of significance. March being an important month for you, especially around setting boundaries, okay? Those of you looking for timing, three days, three weeks, three months. All right, so I'm going to read you the oracle message and the protection message for this card today. So let's uh, find Armadillo Spirit. Here we are, Capricorn. So the oracle message for this card is 
Learning to set healthy boundaries is the gift of armadillo spirit. You are entering a phase where in order for you to be in alignment with your intentions and co-create your best life, you may have to be discerning and say no to many things that have been okay for you in the past. This also means that you need to learn where you end and where others begin, what is yours to own and what is not. Know your limits and understand that it's an empowering choice to say no to what doesn't feel right. Armadillo Spirit is here to tell you it's time to be honest with yourself about what you really want. Be clear on what you are agreeing to, declare what your needs are, and say, say no as a full sentence. I feel like this is why I call this the Nine of Swords, because the swords is your intellect, your voice, your expression, so that's coming through. All right, so next, what does it say here? Trust your body signals and you will know what to do. Armadillo Spirit guides Sorry, Armadillo Spirit guides you in making good decisions that are grounded in a strong sense of what belongs to you and what does not. The protection message on this card for you is, this is a tricky time as you may find yourself enmeshed with others, overly concerned with how they will take it if you say no, no or express how you really feel. Do you feel anxious saying no to someone? Knowing the outcome will not be in your best interest. Do you feel like it's your job to stop someone from facing their challenges? Instead, you might take on their responsibilities, rescuing them instead of giving them the freedom to learn their lessons their way. Perhaps you feel that if they only knew how much you cared, they would change and then all would be well. Armadillo Spirit asks you to be honest with yourself and others. No matter how difficult that may be or how much you may fear losing someone or something, face your fear, tell the truth, and set your boundaries, Capricorn. You will be amazed at the miracles that happen when you let Armadillo Spirit protect you from taking on too much, becoming a people pleaser, and losing your integrity. Another message of protection from Armadillo Spirit is to relax live and let live. If you or someone else is being defensive, you are called to step back and trust in spirit's plan. So look at that. Embrace armadillo spirit here, Capricorn. I'm now going to pull an angel number for you. Some of you have been seeing repeating numbers or angel numbers in your life. This is going to give you your confirmation and guidance today. So let's see what we get here for you today. Triple three, I am powerful. Yes, you are Capricorn, own it. So if you've been seeing the number threes in your life, this is your confirmation that you, my friends, are powerful. The message on this card is, you are being called upon to use your spiritual gifts as a light worker, assisting all of humanity, live your truths and be positive light to others. So look at that. Now, the number three in numerology is tied to groups. It's about expression. It's about connection and creativity. Okay, so that is what is coming through for you today. So this is your reading. If it resonates for you, please comment below, hit that like button. And if you're brand new to my channel and you're enjoying my content, please consider subscribing. Other than that, I wanted to wish you all a beautiful day and thank you so much for watching.